Enshrouded is a game of survival, crafting, and action RPG combat set within a sprawling voxel-based continent. As you journey across the mountains and deserts of an open world, you are free to choose your path and shape your destiny. Survive the shroud, create epic builds, craft gear worthy of a legend, call upon your allies, and unlock the secrets of a fallen realm. All right, here, let's get started by creating our character here. So we have different options. Uh, we got the presets. Uh, we have hair, hair color, beard, beard color, voice, uh, as well as finish it with a name here. Let's go through the presets here. Uh, let's find a dude. Look at this guy's sexy ass mustache and shit. Looks and it's good. So let's go maybe uh, werewolf, uh, werewolf version of Brad Pitt and Legend of the Falls. I think I'm going to rock that. All right, let's see here. The hair, that's fine. Hair color. <laughs> we'll go dark on top. We'll do some blonde on the bottom here. Looking pretty hot. Do we do a beard or not? Let me see. Maybe we'd steal that other guy's. There we go. Beard color. There. There we go. We're looking pretty stylish here. Let's go deep. Let's go real deep. All right. Let's give give this dude a name. Lobster. And let's uh, create this guy and jump into here. Uh, how do I play? Let's play private host or join. Let's just go private for now and create a new game. My world. Perfect. All right. Pretty easy so far. 10 out of 10, uh, in my opinion, at this point. Uh, maybe a little bit generous. All right. Rest, comfortable, warmth, sheltered. So top left there, we can see we have something. What, are, what the hell am I in? Is this Torment? Am I playing Torment? What's happening? Okay. Okay, cool, cool. We do have uh, some real quick uh, sensitivity here. Let me turn that down just a touch. And we'll get back into it. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, what is this place? It reminds me of Torment. I don't know if anybody's playing played that. When you wake up. Oh, shit. Wasn't ready for that. I hear birds. Are there other people in here? Hmm. Okay. I don't think I'm grabbing anything here. It seems there's like a... A shiv or something I could grab. It's super dark in here. There we go. What is this? Commune with the flame. I am communing you. You slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the Endering Flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Okay, so we unlocked our recipe uh, with the flame altar. Cool. Reminds me of like a Zelda world a little bit. Ha ha ha! Uh, the game does have good music. It sounds like it was pretty epic on the menu, but I turned it off. I wasn't totally sure about the copyright uh, information on that. Uh, also, apologies for not putting out more content lately. I uh, I do have a nasty cold, although it doesn't sound like it. Uh, and I have been live streaming a bit, but I haven't been making videos. So here we go. A vast world awaits you. Filled with secrets and peril. Press M to open your map and track your discoveries. All right, let's take a look. Plans for first base. Pick a place where you want to go. And then it shows me exactly where to go. Uh, level one. Active altars. Okay. Crafts people. What is this? Uh, players. One of eight. So you can play multiplayer. Uh, a journal. So we have quests. The flame. Crafts people. Workshops. Pinned recipes. Lore. And tutorials. Here we got some crafting. All discovered recipes for this crafting station are saved here. Okay. You can quickly navigate different categories by selecting these icons. All right. Here you can find the requirement, uh, requirements and ingredients for each recipe. And you can pin recipes. You get a notification once you have collected enough ingredients to craft the pinned recipe. Sweet. So we want this one. I'm going to pin it, actually. I did a thing. Sweet. It's pinned there on the right side. It might have already been. I don't know. Let's take our sexy Brad Pitt brunette ass out of here. A whole new world. So they did have a note that some of the, I think, dynamic lighting isn't... Uh, finished or complete on AMDs, which uh, I am running, so hopefully we don't run into any issues. I heard something like a sound down there. I don't know what it is. I like the world. What's this? I got a bandage. Let's open this bitch. I like how he opened it with his foot. Uh, let's take that and take that. I like the handy space button. Uh, uh, oh, my inventory button's on my, my eye button. So where... Do I have, like, a backpack or something? Or no, this is it. 
Is that another? Uh, let's take that as well. Let's go into the mountainside. Hello, cave. Okay. Definitely like the uh, vibe here. I'm not sure when this game comes out. But, um, yeah. This might be a win. You can tell by the quality already a little bit. It's looking good. I hope I didn't miss anything up there. I'm one of those kind of guys. I'm scared to miss something. Like, if I didn't pick, uh, the right way and I went left, you get, like, a fucking mega sword up there. Just a mega big dick move by going left, but I went small tiny pecker move and went right. Oh my god, this is nice. Nice. Graphics aren't, like, super high quality, but I wonder if they did that on purpose to maybe have the game run a little smoother. I mean, it looks good. Don't get me wrong, but... What's this? The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Okay. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, God. What is all this? Are these, like... Are these maggots? What am I looking at? I don't know what that was. I thought a message just popped up. Hello? Press tab to lock onto your foes. Press control to dodge out of harm's way. Okay. Tab. Tab's not locking. Doesn't seem to be working. I'm tabbing. Oh, you hold tab. Okay. I got you. So you can't tap it. You have to hold it. These ones I can't lock onto. That's weird. Put that one down there again. All right. Let's do it. Oh, because this is an actual fucking dude with legs that can move around. All right, let's do it. The bitch. Okay, good. We got shroud spores, a strange kind of energy. It appears unstable for now. But perhaps it can be refined. Rusty short sword. We got 13 damage here. Cutting. Shroud and piercing. I've forgotten the sword from long ago. Gone days. A forgotten sword from long gone days, commonly found among the ashes of Embervale. Okay. Let me give that sword a try. How do I uh, get down to my inventory there to switch things around? World journal. Da, 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 backpack. Here it is. There we go. You beautiful son of a bitch. Uh, and then we got our three torches that are hanging out here. Okay. Number one. Right, let's lock on. Okay. Definitely not a challenge yet. That's all right. So here we got runes, a torn cloth, and another, another rusty uh, short sword. Is there no... I don't see a value number on this. I'll take it anyway, just in case. Uh, but uh, with no value number on it, it, makes me wonder if we cannot sell items. Maybe there's no traders or anything. I'm not sure. Could be wrong on that. Can I break this stuff? Oh my god, it's a game where you can break barrels. One of the most satisfying things that have ever been invented in gaming. Breaking materials that don't do anything whatsoever. Just local assets smashing. Workbench plus one. If you fall, you will rise again at your last beacon. Are you my last beacon, little cutie? Hmm? Construction hammer at workbench. Uh, what? Okay, I guess we're going to continue following the path. Journal J. Quest. Claim a spot for your base. Embervale has fallen, consumed by the shroud. Bring back the light and reclaim the land by establishing a flame altar in the wilds. The flame altar will mark the spot for your base. In your base, you will later be able to craft and build shelter. A promising site to establish a flame altar is marked on your map. Reach the location, craft the flame altar, and place it to proceed. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna keep rolling my balls down this highway, baby. What is that thing? What the hell? Harvest and eat berries to replenish your health over time. It will prepare you for dangers ahead. Okay, I shall take you, and I shall, uh, I shall heed your advice. All right, let's get our big ass caveman feet down here. What was that? I don't know what the hell that was. 
So, uh, what's my health looking like now? I think I'm okay. Top left, I guess? I think it's the green one? Okay, we're 50 meters out from the, the spot. What are these little things? Look at the ears on it. Come here, Stitch. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look like Stitch. I thought it was the character Stitch. Raw lean meat, animal fur. Looks like I got a chick on there. Okay. This looks like the spot. Right here. So we need to build an altar here, I guess. How do I do that? Claim a spot for your base. Location reached. Marked on your map. Craft the flame. Okay, so crafting. Flame altar. We need five stone here. <clears throat> There's a workbench here as well. So how do I get stone? I need construction hammer. Hammer of the ancients. An archaic building tool fueled by the flame. Capable of quickly erecting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Various structures around your home can only be used within the range of a flame altar, workbench, craft blocks, new items, and repair broken equipment. The workbench can only be placed inside the area of a flame altar. Okay. And we got bandages. So what should I build first here? I need string and shit. I'm not ready for that. Uh, wood logs, so stone, I guess. We have to build this first anyway. So let's get some stone. What's this? Okay, that's just the three categories. Gotcha. So, stone. Go home. Get stone. Red mushroom. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know what the shortcut is directly to my backpack. Is it maybe B? There it is. We did it. We figured it out. So, I know this one will heal us. What's this one do? Did I eat that? No, I just selected it. Okay. Plus one intelligence. Direct use consumable. Great snack that stimulates the brain. That's cool. Tasty and fresh berries stimulating the body. Bodily regeneration abilities with fresh vitamins for a short duration. Nice. Okay. Let's bring that down and these two up here. So how do I find some stones? I don't know if they're just lying around. Yep. That answered my question already. Let's find more. Hello. Tear out. Twigs and plant fiber. Okay. Interesting. We went from like an kind of a traditional RPG run through the mountain kind of thing there to a bit of a survival thing going on. You're going to give me a massive raging uh, semi if you keep uh, mixing my two favorite genres together like this. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Do we have enough yet? My dude is not in shape at all. Uh, crafting flame altar. Whoa. So what. Okay, so this, the the recipes are unlocked, I guess, based on stuff that you pick up. I wasn't really paying attention. So, flame altar. Craft this bitch, and let's put it down somewhere. I guess... I don't know. Is it a circle around this thing? Uh, B. And <clears throat> put you here. That's number five. Yeah, so there we go. It is a plot. So, let's do it. All right. There, I guess. Fine. Probably could have rotated it, but that's all right. Commune with the flame, Floppy. <laughs> flame, you are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby... What the hell does drowsing mean? In nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside of the shroud's grasp. Do -do -do -do. So we have a building area. Altar level one. We can upgrade this bitch. Uh, and we can extend its building area. We have a new quest going on here. We can strengthen the flame, gain global benefits, okay. Uh, extinguish the flame to remove your flame altar. Beware, areas not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud. Placed items will be lost. Jesus. So for the upgrade, we need to, uh, a shroud core. So we must have to kick something's ass that I, I'm not sure about yet. Uh, so what else can we build here? Crafting. The construction hammer. Uh, so I think we could probably use this tab to enter building mode. Okay, let's build that. Um, torches, rags. We don't have rags yet. Bring in torn cloth. Claim a spot for your base. It wants us to go get this dude. Kind of rushing us a little bit here. I'm going to go do that in a second. B. Uh, where did the... There it is. Number five. And then tab. Select the shape you want to build. Select the material you want to build with. Open the submenu to select from different shape categories. Okay, so we want the shape. I guess the foundation first. Then we have a uh, narrow wall, 
door frame, window frame, column, uh, ceiling, wall, stairs, roof truss, foundation. Okay, more shapes if we hold the tilde there. We can go through the different... Holy shit, four meter roofs. It's legendary size. Uh, change category. Go ahead here and then select this one. Can I put this down without having to... Okay, I was hoping that maybe you could put the blueprints down first. That would be nice. Missing materials, craft... Um, what does it need? Is it stone? Craft blocks at the workbench. Okay. Okay. Uh, I haven't watched anyone play this, so I'm, I'm a little out of the loop on some of this stuff. But, uh, uh, okay, let's go do the... Uh, where's my sword? Let's go do this next quest here, because it's kind of pushing me towards that, so... Go on map. Okay, let's do it. He's over here. I'm going to run topless into the wild. I wonder if there's any loot in there. Yeet. Hello? Okay, that hurts. I think. Am I dying? I don't know what's happening. Or is it just nighttime? I think it might just be nighttime. All right, let's go do some nighttime raiding. Gotta pick some shit up along the way. Uh, I need some actual light, though. Firefly wall lamp. Okay, cool. Pick all this shit up. Gonna make sure I get some stones and stuff uh, along the way. Grab that. Heard it. Oh, fuck! I was gonna say, I just heard a wolf, I think. Jesus Christ, I didn't realize it was that close. Bones and animal fur. I don't know how much we can hold here. Is there a weight limit? I don't see it. Alright, let's continue down. Beautiful looking world. Very nice. I like it. I like, I like. Heading down here. Okay. There's a little camp kind of thing here. Can I rob these fucking people or what's up? Sleep. Can I sleep? Did that... Did that work or what? Dude, get up. There you go. Okay. I don't know what happened. Okay, let's break their shit. Did I get anything? No. I can just sleep still. Uh, what's this? Read. Captain's Journal, Day 6. The raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes, such madness, we have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I have ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. If those scavengers return, we are prepared. Okie dokie. Uh, number six. I'm pretty sure everyone's dead, so that's cool. I can take their stuff. Uh, flint arrow. Nice. We do have bandages I forgot about. What is that on? Number eight, so I gotta remember that. I did take a little bit of damage from the wolfies. I don't think I'm getting anything when I break shit, though. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, and this chest. Alright, let's take this. I got more band-aids and a health potion. I'm gonna smash one of these bandages now. Okay, that gives me uh, health over time. It says I'm cold as well. I don't know if I can craft... Um, can I do the shirt yet or anything? Can I craft you? No, what do I need? String and torn cloth. I don't have that shit yet. Uh-oh. How do I... Okay, so the tilde, you can change your hot bar down there as well. Six. Okay, what is this? Braylon Bridge. We haven't even looked at the map yet, really, in depth. Let's go. Cinder Vault's where we started. Home level. This. And then I don't know how big it is. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's still going. Okay. Okay. It's got some It's got some chonk to it. Keep in mind, this is the demo, too. I don't know if the whole game map is bigger or not. We're looking for materials. Wouldn't mind something to wear. You can proceed without a grappling hook here. Seek a path through the shroud instead. Interesting. I'm not going to do that, but that's cool. Let's go. Oh, maybe I have to do. Wait, do I have to do that? Oh, that was misleading with the direction of the icon. I think I'm going to go around. Loot. More meat. Mushrooms. So we have to go that way, I think. Fuck. Oh, shit. Here, pussy. Come here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he dodge rolled like half a second after I pushed the button. <laughs> Directly into the fucking wolf. Alright, number six. 
more mushroom. I don't know if I'm going the right way because I have to go that way. I'm trying to find a way around this whole canyon without having to go down inside of that stuff, but maybe I do have to go in there. Search. Uh, what do we got? Wood log string. That's good. That was one of the ingredients we needed. Uh, up here, what's going on? I feel like I'm going into my death. That's cool. The torch goes out when you're climbing. So there's a hook here at some point. I kind of want to get my, my little scummy fingers on. Recipe unlocks lockpick. Cool. Yeah, I don't think we're going the right way. I don't think so. I feel like maybe there was an easier way. Probably down along the... I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep going where we're going. See if we can figure out what's up. What do we got? More flint arrows. Nothing to shoot them with. And maybe this is a dead end. We can knock that thing down, it looks like. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. It looks like uh, I can't go this way further. I don't think I can climb that or anything. Oh, shit. I almost jumped off. So, dead end this way. Wait. Or is it? <laughs> Shit, this is a terrible idea. Don't do it, Floppy. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking... Oh, shit. I should've did it. What? Oh, you guys... You guys fucked me. Yeah, you. The one watching the video right now. Why didn't you warn me? That was a very lubed up cliff right there. That guy, uh... That guy definitely flew off that a little quicker than I was expecting. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> Do I have stuff to build yet? <laughs> Let's stay home and build. Oh, fuck me. Uh, tab for the, the build stuff. So I think it needs... Where's the ingredients? Is it hidden behind the menu on the right there? I can't see what... I'm assuming it's stone or wood or something. Foundation. Materials. Missing materials. Craft blocks at workbench. So we... Okay. So we have to build the workbench first, it sounds like. Okay, it's daytime. My hammer is a torch and a hammer at the same time. Is that supposed to happen? Nope. My sword is also now a torch, and I'm holding both things. Everything is a torch now. All right. A little bit of a glitch there. Can I pick that one up? Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft. Um, I want the workbench, so we need wood logs and string. Oh, did I lose everything? You son of a bitch. I lost everything that was on my body. I did have some string there. Okay. Go back. If you're wondering, no, I'm not carrying a torch during the day. It's just this game being... Being glitchies. Little bug. That's alright. So far, it's running pretty smooth. Not bad. Okay, this guy's being a dick already. Okay, good. Let's loot that guy again. Grab that and the animal fur. Fantastic. Plant fiber, animal fur, bones. Can I craft a string itself yet? Can. So one, two, three. Workbench, what else do I need? Wood logs. How do I get the wood logs? They probably need some kind of axe here, but there is an axe. Oh, my shit. I didn't see it. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, Get this done. Because right, I really want a workbench here. Okay, now we go. Here's my torch uh, axe. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Nice. Loot this so it drops it on the ground. You gotta pick it up. Loot all this. What is this? Resin? Okay. And more trees. Okay. Looks like all the items and stuff have a durability as well. Come on, dude. There you go. Grab this stuff, pick this stuff up, pick that up, this up here, this over here, and that up, and this over here, and this one over here. And we'll bring our big balls back to camp here, and let me get uh, this built. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, crafting. Uh, we want the workbench still. We need String. Did I make three string? I thought I made three. Now we can build the workbench. Uh, and let's go ahead and B workbench. Wait, if I hit the tilde, there you go. 
rotate. What's the rotate? R. Is that the front? I think that's the front. I don't know where to put this. I'm just going to put it here for now. Uh, craft and repair. So here we go. We opened up some brand new stuff. We got the essentials with the, the construction hammer. We can make wood blocks. So these are the materials we have to create first to build, it looks like. We also have stone blocks. I'd probably just want to go with stone right off right off the rip. No? Although the wood would be easier to get. Let me make some of these. That made 200. Holy shit. So now I should be able to take my uh, hammer here. And if we hit tab, it uh, looks like I can put down some type of settlement. Let's go something like this, maybe. Okay. Over here. Like this, something like this. And uh, stairs, like, like that. And like that. Okay, so we'll have stairs on both sides of this cool ass altar. And number one, I think I'm out of. Am I out of blocks? I am out of the blocks. So we got to go do some more, some more block hunting. Uh, you know what we should build is. How do I get out of this menu? We should build the pickaxe, which is right here. So I need string. Let's go ahead and make one more of those, which takes plant fiber. So it's pretty easy to get actually. Uh, we can also make a campfire. That's pretty good. Let's get the pickaxe here and backpack. And let me... Let's let's maneuver things here. Let me get... I'll actually leave that here. But let's keep, like, food and stuff on... What is this? Health potion. Let's leave that on this row. Uh, let me put my tools on this row. Uh, uh, let's go with the axe, the hatchet, or the pickaxe. And there we go. We'll use this as, like, a backup. Torches and stuff like that. All right, that's a little better. So let's go ahead and get our pickaxe going, our torch pickaxe. <laughs> yeah, I can pick and just pick this one up. So I don't know which ones I can hit. Uh, maybe that one over there. We want to get as many stones as we can. Uh, top right, it keeps saying flame altar stone nine of five craftable amount. I don't know what that means. Maybe you can upgrade it. I'm not totally sure. Does my guy have skills? Because his uh, his fitness is terrible. A whole new world. Excuse me. Don't fall, dude. Them lubed up cliffs are, uh, are a riot. Okay, good. We're getting some rocks out here. That's good. I don't even need the pickaxe. Yo, I can break into the... Oh, my God. Wait, can I make, like, a shelter inside of this? Probably not, because it's not on my, like, my base. But if you put the altar nearby. I gotta wait for my stamina to pick up. Coffee break. Everyone take a quick coffee or tea break. Oh, God, that's good. That is good. All right. This is definitely an easier way. So you got some fucking mining and good old crafting system in it. Mixed with some RPG. Mixed with some, uh, every item is a torch. Yeah, this is cool. Very nice. Okay. Might have a legit game here. Alright, let me just keep grabbing a bunch of this. I wonder how far into the earth you can go if it just lets you craft down the whole fucking side of the mountain or what? Stamina is going to be an issue, though. We do have, I think, uh, was it these purple berries? No, it was the mushrooms, I think. No, that's intelligence. I thought one of them gave me stamina, but I could be wrong. I should be eating something anyway. Okay. And number three. Let's go ahead and I'll try to get, what, maybe 100 stone here? Craftable amount, 10. I don't... Does that mean new flame altars? I don't know. Let's just keep digging out here a little bit. And I'm bored. Let's get the fuck out of here and go back. Start building out just a little bit of a base here. I'm not going to spend a, a crazy amount of time on this, but I am intrigued by the build system. I like it. Kind of got a uh, Conan kind of feel. The big old chonky blocks. Uh, tab. Tab, I think I want. And material. Oh, no, we got to craft the... Um, right, let me get out of here. And I need to go to the workbench. 
And we craft this stuff here, the stone stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, da, 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 da. Okay. That's still not going to take us everywhere that we need to go with it, but that's all right. Uh, I'm pretty sure... The nope, there we go. And let's snap this bitch. Come on. Snappy, snappy. Snappy, snappy. Okay. All right. Good. Good. All right. Good. Yep. Uh. Uh-huh. Okay. Do we do another row, you think? Let me see how big that is. Might need one more row. Oh, that's pretty good. I think one more would be sufficient for now, and then we could expand it later. Uh, let's go up. There we go. So let's take a look at what's next. We got walls and doors and stuff. So maybe... Let me see here. The fuck did I just do? Do, 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 do. Okay, let's put a door... Uh, more shapes. Uh, this one, I guess? Where's the actual door? Is that number two? Right, that's a narrow wall column. Okay, so next row we have lots of different shapes here. Where's, like, just a straight-up door, dude? Dude! Dude! <laughs> oh, there's bigger blocks. Like, they're four meters. I see. Okay. I don't understand, though, like, where... I don't know. Maybe you crafted the door in the bench or something separately? That could be it, too. Okay, so let's do tab. And then switch to... We have here uh, a wall. We have windows. So let's go and put a window in here. I'll put one on this side. And I guess we could put one on the back here somewhere. And uh, the rest we can put in walls. We have narrow walls. And then we also have these, like, half-wall things. So I think, we, I guess we want the narrows. Okay. Alright. Rotate. Connect. 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 Alright. Keep in mind, you can play this with a, a bunch of friends as well at the same time. So you could all kind of make an epic base, I assume, and share the altar area, I'm guessing. This may be a great multiplayer game. Um. Uh, Again, not totally sure on the... Uh, I actually don't know a lot about this game, I'm going to be honest. I haven't paid a lot of attention to it. But uh, it's looking pretty juicy. Looking pretty juicy. Let me see with the tilt what we got. So if we come down to the four meters, then I should be able to select like this and fill that whole spot with one block. Yeah. That way you have like a centered window as well. All right. I like it. There's probably a door here and I'm just too stupid to fucking see. Oh my God, what the hell? It's huge. Where's the small door frame? Oh, I'm on the four meters. <laughs> right. You just selected that floppy. Like, holy shit. Uh, so I don't know where the actual door is. It's probably right in front of my face, but... Uh, yeah, not totally sure how to get to that. We do have, like, a half block here maybe you could put up. Well, this is the door frame. So, yeah, you do, you, you do this, I guess. All right. I mean, we don't have to spend a lot of time. That didn't even line up. What kind of nonsense is this? Okay. I think I misplaced that one. I'm not sure. Whatever. I kind of like it. It's got a weird uh, weird vibe to it. And then you have the uh, ceiling, too. So let's just throw a ceiling on here. Let's start back here. I don't know if I have enough to fill this in. Actually, uh, remove, remove. Let's switch to the, f the four. And then use that big bitch... Uh, I don't know if I need columns or not to hold these up. There might be a support system. Okay, I don't have enough blocks. Right, let's just go run out and get uh, some more blocks here quick. Uh, with the pickaxe. Pickaxe! I barely use it. Oh, it healed. I see. I repaired it at the workbench. Didn't even notice. So we'll just complete creating a little shelter and then I'll uh, maybe run off a little bit and see the world a bit. But uh, I just want to get the ceiling done. I'm gonna test out this build system. I do like it. I like that you can just run over here with your pickaxe and start smashing the the uh, landscape down. Guy is terrible at energy. He's just absolutely exhausted constantly. What's the journal saying? Claim a spot for your base. Sleeping survivor. Crafting. Do we get anything else new? We got a club here. 
Magical weapons. We can build a wand? What the fuck? A magical wand carved out of bones, lifeless and cold. It shoots magical ice projectiles. I can make a wand or a staff. Simple magical staff made from cal calcified bone. Rudimentary, but effective. Staffs can cast spells, but using spell charges and mana. Equip spell charges to cast. So this one, I don't think I need any kind of mana. Or, or spell, right? This one, staffs can cast spells by using spell charges and mana. Okay. This one doesn't use that, I guess? This is just like straight up ice attack. I don't have to fuck with the uh, ammo and stuff. Let me check that out. Number five. It looks stupid because of the torch. The torch is bugged, so... You can see the ice flying there, but there's a bug right now. Where it's showing... The torch on every single item I'm equipped with. I'm sure they'll fix that. That's why they they have the demo and they do these little tests out, so... Not a big deal. Not a big deal. So far, uh, pretty great game. Uh, curious to see about, like, if there's boss fights or what the story storyline holds. Especially with, like, a multiplayer where, you know, what's the gameplay loop? How long can you play this for without getting you bored out of your fucking mind? Uh. So there we go. We built a place pretty quickly here. It actually looks pretty nice. I mean, nice-ish. Uh, whoops, a daisy. Can I put that back or nope? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and craft more stone. You could probably make it look nicer with the wood, maybe, if you did a mix of both. Guy has a hard time running up this. Number four, and then tab, and then we want to go through to the ceiling on the four meters. Beautiful. That there. That there. That there, that there, and that there. Did I mess up? I did. Let's do this one. And there we go. I just have a, a massive amount of stone above me that could collapse at any time and kill me. I love it. Looks great. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our ass out of here. Is there anything else I should check out? Eh, the club maybe? Might be a good idea. We do have some swords, though, but we're probably going to run through those. So let's get the sword and let's head out. And I guess try to find a place um, to get down to that point to the Sleeping Survivor quest. We have our stuff on us as well that we dropped, I think. Because I see a death icon, that red death, death icon on the compass. What was that? A firefly? Okay, that was random. Okay, I think I think we can get down this way. Hello, mate. Yeah. What's that? Areola flower. Okay. Oh my god. This place is gross. Get me out of here. I think it's making us run through here to see a little bit of what this is all about. Is this killing me or anything? Or how does this work? I do have the wand. Oh god. The hell's that? Okay, kinda awesome. Skill point level up two. I don't know if I have to manually apply any of that or what, but. So we can loot this area too, I guess? What is this? The hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time in the shroud. It consumed upon use and can be stashed in inventory. So top in the middle there, that yellow bar, it has a timer on it, I see. Alright, let's loot this fucking weird thing. Okay. Okay. I kind of like this creepy area that you can just explore and loot. I like the timer too, it's kind of cool. It's a good concept. I like that. You have limited time to get in and... Do your business, your biznatch. Okay, let's move up here. Breelin Bridge. Breelin, what a nice name. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Check out this way up here. Nothing too crazy uh, trying to attack me or anything. Oh, shit. I think I can... There we go. 
Okay, we're playing Harry Potter all of a sudden, so that's cool too. We got a mix of 14,000 games, which ain't a bad thing. Okay, here we go. What the hell's that thing? Oh, that's a. Is that a wolf? Definitely enjoying the uh, range here with the. With the ice wand. Yeah, fuck off, pussy. I knew it. In the video game, YouTube, don't demonetize me. I was talking to a gaming character. They're touchy about that, and then I gotta peel it. Wood legs. Wood what? Logs. What the fuck? Okay, 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 number five. Holy shit. Murder that guy? I should probably switch to the sword, but I don't really want to get hit by those. Okay, good. Let's loot. Metal scraps, torn, and grilled lean meat. We actually got some de delicious... Meats on me. Plus this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, use it. I'm gonna eat it. Maximum health increased. Holy shit, look at the bar in the top left. Is that temporary? What the hell just happened? Alright. Oh, let's see. I guess we have to go through here. That'd be hilarious. So I can just walk around. Okay. Yeah, fuck this then. I'll just go around. Definitely need to get some armor or something soon, though. Hello? Does that guy have a chain? What is he holding? I thought he was holding a chainsaw. Okay, we'll come back and deal with that guy later, maybe. Can I slide? Okay, we're here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, God, is he up there? Oh, you son of a bitch. It's up on the hill. How do I get up there? How do I get up? Maybe right here? Set his waypoint. Can... Rookmore. How in the fuck? I'm guessing we have to run through this. Or it was... Maybe I missed something back there, but... This is quite the journey. I, I like this uh, atmosphere, though. This is cool. I'll give him that. I don't feel like I'm going the right way. <laughs> I don't know. Something's telling me to turn back, but not quite sure what exactly that is. Pretty. You look so pretty. Hello. Elixir well? Sounds like a good thing, though. Dude, I, I have to go up there. I don't know how to... I don't know what I'm doing. I think I took a wrong turn. Yep. Alright, so let's go back and I guess I'll look to see if maybe I was supposed to go somewhere in the other direction. I don't see like a... Is there like a ladder over here that I can start climbing? Oh shit. Oh my god damn, what the fuck? Dude, just... talk about it fuck okay so we've gone down here do you think maybe it looks like either way we have to somehow elixir well somehow get up I don't know where the fuck Rookmore maybe we, we could hook a right on the beach here this time see if the, there's a Thanks. I was hoping darkness would come and make things easier. So maybe we'll hook a right instead this time. That's not the way to go. There's probably like a uh, <laughs> like an easy thing to just take up somewhere, and I just haven't found it. There's a red thing over there. Lots of red over there. I wonder what the difference between the blue and the red is. Okay. Let's go down. Down. And I guess we'll head that way. There's like a tower thing over there too. Is that where we went last time? 
Excuse me, what? The fuck was that? What the hell was that growl? Yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to be following this road. Let's try going this way though instead of the, the other way. It got a little creepy here, I'm not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. Okay. That just took me around in a circle. There's stairs here. It's a little hard to see, but let's see if I can climb this. Okay, maybe this was a better way to take. This is more promising, I think. Okay. Interact with campfires to cook food or sit near them with X to become rested and, and okay, let's hit. Can I do both at once? Place food in your action bar and select it. Press uh, left mouse button to cook it. Okay. Do I not have any on me? I think I dropped, uh, dropped it all. Oh no, I got some there. Hold to cook. Nice. Grilled meat. We got a few pieces here of raw meat we can cook on the fire. I like this. Nice little simple system. All right. Looking delish. Got one more piece here. I don't know if I can cook the mushroom or not. Let's try it. Yeah, it looks like it. What does that turn into? Okay. Hopefully it's better. They cook a little quicker too. I like the realism. There we go. So we're well rested. Um, let's get up and get rolling here. Let me see the... Uh, now, I think it doubled the intelligence. I think it was plus one before. Uh, and the meat here is plus one constitution. Rich in protein and delicious, but only a small snack. Okay. Snackage. Who type already active? So I do see some uh, Valheim influences here a little bit as well. That's which isn't a bad thing. Read. A spectacular progress is being made to all who set their eyes upon wondrous, up, upon my wondrous. No, allow me to begin. What the fuck did I write this? All travelers, <laughs> I've conquered this terrain with my greatness. I'm afraid that's not right either. The bridge is nearly finished, and I cannot find the words to express my joy. Confound it. How lucky we had a bountiful mine so close by for materials and ore. One thing I do know, I'll name this bridge Braylon, after my dearly departed fifth aunt. Though if she were still alive, I'm not sure she would be flattered, for her and the bridge share not just a name, but a brash nature. Burn. Okay. And sleep. Cuddle up to my favorite kind of sex doll. Good old boner. Good old bony boner. Okay, nothing else in here? I guess I could probably craft the bow, but I actually like the wand quite a bit. We need to repair it, though. Collect rock, I guess? Okay. So now do, where do we set off at? We need to go that away, I guess. Let's head up the path. There's a motherfucker up there. What is that guy? Who put this here? That seemed out of place a little bit. Okay, so I think we might actually be on the right path this time. Okay. Who's this? Bushes can conceal you when you're within... Okay. I'm hiding. Hello? Hello, motherfuckers? Wait, am I supposed to sneak in here? Maybe I'm supposed to be sneaking. So 
that dude was uh, stronger, I guess you could say. Holy shit. You know what? I might do a part two of this. We'll see. Anyway, this has been Enshrouded. I really do like it. I'm going to play it when the full version comes out for sure. I got it on the old wish list. Oh, it's daytime. Should we go? Nah, we'll, we'll save it. Should we go? Ah, fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> I just didn't want to run back all that way. But let's try it. Let's see what it looks like during the daytime. So we were up there near that tower near the base, I think. I think that's where we were headed. It's not that far. I just got to run straight ahead, I think. I was trying to keep this video a little bit shorter, but that's all right. I just want to... Uh, Something keeps growling at me when I get in here. Uh, I just want to see what this next quest is. So I'm trying to get the sleeping survivor quest taken care of. I'm intrigued. So we'll head here, hook a right, uh, go up the mountain here, the cliffside. I need some type of stamina potion or something to get this guy's aerobic endurance up a little bit. Do 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 Okay. We're almost there. Gotta climb a little bit and then run. Oh god. Alright. Oh I ran okay. You gotta watch that, eh, for the damage. Ah, so you will fall if you ran out of stamina. Alright, let's do it. Get up there. Get up there. Oh god, it's gonna be a close one. Oh shit. Fuck. That guy is such a pussy. He's totally jacked right now. He's got a six pack. Not a heavy dude. You can't just climb this? You good? Alright, let's go. There we go. Legend. Right, let's hook a left here. And we're gonna be a little bit more quiet and uh, careful this time, I guess. I don't know if I have to go through this town. I don't know if I can get around it. Let's switch to the wand again. Maybe I can go around this way. I like that they give you multiple uh, ways to tackle something here a little bit. They don't like babysit you, right? You don't have like just a little marker pointing you in the exact location. I mean, we have the compass, but it, you have to figure out the, the own path, which kind of forces you to explore a little bit, which I like. You come across things that you didn't might not normally. What is going on here? I don't think I'm getting through. I wonder if that's blocked for the demo. I don't know what that's... Well, yeah. I think they're forcing me to do this. Not sure why those first ones weren't hitting, but that's alright. Bones. Okay. Hello? Is anybody here? What's this? Metal scraps, water. Okay, sweet Jesus. Metal scraps, okay. Alright, trying to avoid people. Wait, do they not come out during the day? Oh, there's a guy over there. Yep. I think I have to go in here. Ancient vault. Oh shit. Okay, good. The wand is definitely effective against these guys. We're not going to have it forever though. Okay. B. Let's eat one of these. And I'm going to drink that. Maybe a piece of meat here. Where'd the water go? I don't know. All right, let's go. Okay. Waypoint reached. There's some stuff here. Venture forth. It's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption. Still volatile yet brimming with potential and hope. 
The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next. Okay. Awakened survivor. Oswald Anders. Summoning staff. Recipe unlocked. Charcoal at charcoal kiln. We're just we're just scratching the surface here, baby. I'm, there seems to be quite a lot to do in this game. I'm excited about it, to be honest. It's kind of fun. When you need to rest, you can fast travel back at your home. I was wondering if we could fast travel. Navigate. Select your home. Metal sheets at the forge we unlocked. Okay. Let's go back here. Fast travel. So I'm hoping we see the new dude, right? The survivor? Does he help us around camp and shit? I was expecting to see him here, but I don't know. Commune. This, su this survivor will be a worthy addition to our cause. Place them into the world with the summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Okay. Crafting. Summoning staff. Okay. Where is it? Where's my summoning staff? There it is. Uh, let's put you... Here. So number two. Ready summoning staff. Okay. Oswald enters the blacksmith. Hey! Holy shit, we got a dude. Are you are we dudes? Are you my dude? Are we dudes, dude? At long last I return, I'm a humble blacksmith at your service. Let's prepare you for what's to come. Oswald enters the blacksmith. Craft, crafting first gear. Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny. And they call you Flameborn. First thing you need is a weapon. Lucky you woke up me first. Me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or spike club will serve us well. All right, man. Here we go. We're unlocking some stuff. Looking good. I'm enjoying the game. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new here. Leave a like on your way out if you don't mind. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. See you in the next one. Bye.